isn't it? Now then, if uh, if you've enjoyed that compelling action, we're up for some real riveting action now because we're moving into the medal stage of the men's sprint competition. And I'm going to be joined now by Craig McLean, the man who won a sprint in the world title for this particular discipline, and he was also a man who won a gold medal in the World Team Sprint Championship. Well, here they are, they're drawing for their positions, Craig, so you've arrived in the commentary box. Perfect timing. Bronze medal right off up first. Again, tough one to call, it's uh, very evenly matched looking at the uh, 200 meter times and even the splits from their uh, 100 meter splits from their 200. Uh, nothing, nothing to choose between them. So two young warriors have to try and get a position on the podium here. That's uh, Perkins and Kenny. It's one year between them. Jason Kenny, the younger, at 21. Got this very dramatic music that they play which is sort of gladiatorial, isn't it, as he builds, ready for the Warriors to come out onto the boards. It is a bit. Hard. The riders probably aren't aware of it because you're, kind of, you're in the zone a little bit at this point, yeah. so... I think they'll be aware of that. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> it's hard to ignore, isn't it? They must have heard us talking and pressed the volume button, I think. So there we are, the uh, rider from Great Britain just getting those straps pulled up tightly, Jason Kenny. And uh, his opponent, Shane Perkins, who has been a world junior sprint and Kieran champion through his apprenticeship here up into the elite class. He was fourth in the world sprint championships in Fusco in Poland earlier this year. Kenny, the man who I've said it several times in commentary, but Kenny's the man who rode that blistering lap in the team sprint, the second lap, chasing down Jamie Staff, who led off the squad. But there's his opponent. I've seen him ride one or two mean Kieran races as well, Perkins. Yeah, he likes to likes to throw his bike a bit. I've actually seen him uh, be knocked off in the Kieran wait for the bike to come round again and get back up. So uh, he, although he was a lap down, he was still. <laughs> He still managed to get in about the race. I don't think strictly legal, but it was uh, it wasn't a, a race in Australia, so crowd pleasing. Well, so these are the like two that. riders rolling off to start race one in the contest for the bronze medal in the men's sprint. At the front, it's uh, Jason Kenny from Great Britain and his opponent Shane Perkins of Australia. Best of three in the competition at this stage. It's amazing, isn't it, the way countries dominate disciplines. I mean, Australia had a great run at one point with people like Gary Newon, and then France came in and they were almost unbeatable, and now all of a sudden it's Great Britain that are dominating. Absolutely, and it just takes one rider to raise the, raise the bar, somebody like Chris, you know, and then all the other riders can uh, aspire to that, and they're training with him on a regular basis, so it really, it really brings the best out of riders when you've got somebody pushing the boundaries. So one lap to go here in race one, and it's Kenny leading this one out. Here comes the challenger and from Perkins. Perkins trying to get right up onto the hip here of Kenny. It's a big ask into the finishing straight and the charge for the line. Oh, yes. Kenny takes that by a full bike length. He'll draw a lot of confidence from that. Indeed, absolutely convincing win there from Jason. Looks smooth as you like. Perkins struggling a little bit, looking down. The sled's not, uh, not giving them what they should be. So that's one up then to Jason Kenny in his bid to seal bronze. Now, uh, next onto the track will be the two men uh, racing it out for gold and silver. <laughs> 